Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Man, it has been a minute since we have done a vlog. Uh, I'm gonna keep the sunglasses on here for just a quick minute. Wow, it has been a busy couple days, man, to say the least. Um, got some different announcements I wanted to um, kind of pepper into this vlog. I got a couple clips I wanna uh, interject into here as well. But man, I hope you guys have been doing great. Uh, the weather finally broke up here in Michigan. I'm looking at the dash, it's 73 degrees absolutely gorgeous uh it is tuesday afternoon so i'm shooting this vlog at real time i actually have a little plug here from billy goat uh we're just uh, doing some sponsored content with them showing the new plugger uh walk behind air raider the 2501 i think it's called really cool machine uh, i got a little clip here from jeff and joe when i was able to meet them up yesterday for lunch at sherwin show you guys that um Hey, the reason for a little bit of a delay on vlogging from Friday and then also from yesterday is, I don't know if you guys can tell, a uh, little spoiler alert, kind of showing something gross here in my eye. Give a quick second if you got kids or something like that. But um, I actually went in, I don't know if you guys can see, I went in for laser eye surgery. Uh, that was something that Liz and I uh, talked about a long time ago, was getting me laser eye surgery. I'm actually blind as a bat. Uh, I wear contacts, I don't know if you guys can relate. I was really, really nervous about it, really freaking out about it. Um, after having the baby, it really put things into perspective how like little I can see, especially at night with trying to help Liz um, feed the baby and everything like that. Baby's doing great, by the way. Um, <laughs> literally no sleep. Uh, so anyway, which way, last Saturday I went in for laser eye surgery. It was a couple grand, as you guys would imagine. Um, Liz and I just decided to make the investment as our family. And uh, so Saturday and Sunday, I basically slept all day. Monday yesterday I wore these really cool, uh, I got these goggles from Steel a while ago. These are the ones with the gaskets. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. Uh, I'm probably gonna be wearing these in the fall. Um, but those worked out great. Did my follow-up appointment yesterday at 4, uh, 15. Uh, big thumbs up from the doctor, everything's healing well. I got about a week or two until all the halos are gonna be kind of fading away and then uh, we're back to 2020 so I can see without glasses, man. So. Um, what else we got, man? That's what's uh, really exciting. GIE is selling really well. Thank you guys for using the code there. Launchpreneur Academy tickets are selling well. Thanks for using those uh, or registering. We don't have a code, but thanks for registering, getting your ticket November 13th. Uh, Rob's over here mowing. You guys want to see some mowing footage? Let's go check out what he's got going on, and uh, we'll keep this day going. But that's what's going on in our uh, neck of the woods. So that's why we haven't had any vlogs the last couple days, and uh, that's what I got. It's so good to be back here hanging out with you guys. I'm just getting excited. The weather broke. Back to 70s and uh, kind of tapering off. You know, we got eight or nine weeks left of the season. Can you believe it? And we're going to be wrapping up the season uh, basically around Halloween. And then, of course, we got leaf cleanups, but you guys know what I'm saying. Let's go find Rob. Let's see what he's up to and uh, get a little update from him. like the mall footage, so here's what's coming, right? Oh, stripes. Nice, looks really nice. Rob has done a great job going like tip to tip with the mower decks. We did that video last week, how to make a K-turn. What up, though? What up? How you doing? I'm tired. Okay. I'm nice. That it's cool around. Yeah. No, no, no. I was just gonna say it's uh, been a couple days since we shot a vlog, yeah. and uh, I told them all we I went in for laser eye surgery on uh, for no Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Yeah. So you actually, see now. Uh, yeah, dude. Actually, 2020, man. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a life changer. It's a game changer. Like I would oh, definitely yeah. do it again. But you've been holding the fort all day yesterday. You were trimming. You're back to mowing today. Um, yeah, I'm happy. How's your shoulder? A little sore still. A little sore? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I just want to say, hey, really quick, yeah. we're mowing and grass is growing green, man. Yeah, and grass has been really long today. Had yeah, to it is. We've been double cutting a lot. Couple. Yeah. It's like back to 70s, you know, but uh, thank God it's not 90. No, I know. That's but, not 70s right now, I'm loving it. Yeah, right. we, we didn't even vlog last week. <laughs> I mean, we... That was so bad. It was so hot. <laughs> it was 90 every day and... 
Yeah, I was, there's some days where we want to get the camera out, we want to hang out with you guys, but I mean, there's other times too where we're just like, dude, we need to mow. Yeah, we're like, let's just get this done. <laughs> we're hot, we're sweaty, Yeah. we don't got time. Believe it or not, YouTube's not my main source of income just yet, where uh, this is all I do. So we still got to work, still got to mow lawns, struggle. But I love what I do, and I know Rob really enjoys uh, mowing grass with me. So that's what I got, man, a little update. Yeah. I'm tired, bro. I, I have know, not I been. Could, I know you've been telling me about it. Man. I told Rob, man, I have not been getting any sleep. Baby time. Baby has not been sleeping much, man. She, uh, we think she might have a day, uh, dairy allergy. So Liz has been trying to kick milk. Some of you guys that are 13, you don't really care about this. Some of you guys that are 35, you've been in there, done that. I'm doing stuff for Liz. I've never thought I'd ever be doing like to help her out with the baby and not get a lot of sleep. So all right, man. Well, I'll let you get back to mowing. I'm uh, gonna jump on the trimmer. We got these four, and then those four. Yep. All right, cool. Rock and roll. Well, like I said, just wanted to catch up with you guys. Let you guys know, see how Rob's doing, and we're working, man. We're working. Um, that Billy Go walk behind, we're gonna do its own separate vlog on aeration and all that. So stay tuned. We'll try to get you guys some more info on that new plugger aerator, and actually, we're gonna be doing something with the uh, new stand-on leaf blow that they have. I don't know if you guys have seen those yet hitting the dealer floor. Um, that's what I got, man. Nothing, uh, nothing too, too crazy today. By the way, if you guys haven't got your uh, GIE Plus Expo registration done yet, make sure you guys do because I think Early Bird is like a week left where it's half off. Uh, promo code Brian saves 50%, right? Little plug. It's not an official Brian's Law Maintenance vlog. Unless we're plugging something, right? So, all right, here, I'll show you guys the eyes really quick now that I'm out of the sun a little bit more. Um, got some blood. Got some bloody spots. But it's all good. I did it, no drugs, no drugs. They did some uh, numbing drops, but it's supposed to give me Valium. They never gave me that. I didn't find out until after the fact. Dude, that, it hurt. But if you guys are ever considering it, go get it. We did uh, LASIK Plus. It was like 3,200 bucks. So just to tell you guys straight up. But um, life changer. I have been wanting to get that done since I was about 18 years old. And so 15, 16 years later, finally did it. But all right, well, I gotta get the trimming. Appreciate you guys watching. Let's uh, kick it over to where we met up with Jeff and Joe with Billy Go, and then we'll come back and uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, little transition here. Look who we found here over at Sherwin Williams. We got Jeff over with Billy Go. What's up, brother? How you doing, Brian? Good to see you. I am doing good. It's good to see you. We got PED, and then you guys know Joe South. Joe South is always here bringing some fresh new goodies. So, little sponsored content here. Uh, we are teaming up with Billy Goat this fall to show you guys some great aeration footage. Uh, they have a really cool unit, actually. Some of you guys might have saw on Instagram uh, about two years ago. Right. Two and a half years ago, we got to link up with Jeff and Rich back in the day. Uh, so, check this out really quick. This is the 2501 plugger. It's a PL2501 SPV for Vanguard. Okay. If you got an SPH, it would have a Honda rather than a Vanguard. So, we got a Honda option and a Vanguard option. Correct. So, give me some highlights here. What do we got going on, Jeff? One of the things about this machine is how easy it is to service. All you do is you take these thumb screws off, you lift up the water tank, you don't take them off, you just loosen them, and then everything is serviceable. You can get to the engine, do whatever you have to do. Change your oil, service your air filter, manage whatever you have to manage. And then you can also, when you have to grease the rod journals for the for the reciprocating aeration part of it, you can do that real easy. All right. And you can see this is kind of like the crankshaft of your truck. It's going to take the plugs under pressure. So it's, uh, you know, not as, it's, uh, it doesn't depend upon Mother Nature as much as most, most aerators. Okay. So this is actually taking it under force. The other advantage, is it's going to do eight plugs per square foot at three miles per hour. Wow. Okay, it, 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 a little less than three miles per hour is going to do more plugs per square foot. Okay. So that's about two and a half, three times, almost double yeah. what most drum style aerators will do. So we're coming in the fall, aeration season, uh, overseeding season. It's going to be a good time, right? For sure. If you're going to overseed after your aerate, this actually is a little more viable alternative than a lot of aerators because it's taking so many more plugs. There's going to be more holes in the ground more dirt on the top of the soil, it's gonna make germination and soil to seed contact a lot easier. All right, awesome, man. Well, guys, we're not here to do a huge pitch on it. They just wanted to drop it off really quick. We're actually mowing Sherwin today. We gotta to get moving any which way, but we'll do another video here, so stay tuned. Uh, we got a little start stop, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. Joe, I'm excited about getting my hands on this. This is awesome. There you go. Rock and roll. Well, thanks for dropping it off, guys, and uh, more to come from Billy Goat. Stay tuned, let's keep it going.
Uh, I said vlog the day, but I didn't mean put it right in my face. <laughs> nope, right now. You said vlog. This is uh, what you get. This is as honest as it gets, man. Well, let's go through the, the goodie bag. Oh, well, yeah, so end here, of the day goodie bag. Here, here's our call to action they, they say you should put on a YouTube video. Uh, what is your guys' drink of choice at the gas station? And I know you guys are all healthy and you all drink your, uh, you know, essential water and your nutri grain bars. But Rob and I, we get some drinks sometimes. So I got Blue Gatorade. Uh, Rob is a aficionado. Uh, I, I prefer myself the cherry vanilla Coke or you, Pepsi. Sophisticated. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, sophisticated. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. And then uh, I get good old fashioned Coca Cola. Um, oh, okay. See, you're just basic. I get Coca Cola. Yep. And uh, and then these are my go to. These are my jam. Uh, Y'all send me gift cards to Chick fil A. This is like the real vice. Uh, I, his beef sticks. Yeah, the yeah. Jack's Lynx original beef sticks. I. I live on these things. I get the cheese, the plastic cheese. <laughs> and I, like, don't judge me. I'm so the, tired right now. Cheese that's not cheese. Dude, it was just 78 on the dash. Now it says 85. It feels that's like. That's actually yeah, kind of outrageous. Let me see if I yeah. Can I feel like it's actually like around 80, 82. But, yeah. you know, I'll take it over uh, the monstrosity of heat that we've had the last couple uh, weeks, man. But we're going to wrap up the vlog right here. All right. I'm looking at Rob for some guidance, like thumbs up, thumbs down. But, um,. The Billy Go Aerator, we're going to do another video with that uh, midweek. I'm also going to do another video on the dumper dog insert and then the Billy Go debris loader. Getting a lot of questions on those, rightfully so. We're going into fall. So if you guys want to see some other things on those or you got questions specifically, let me know. I'll try to read those on the next video. But you good, bud? I'm good. All right, well, let's go change the blades and we're out of here. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you guys.